Welcome to EDC Ideas. Today's topic, three Leatherman long-term reviews. We have two vintage Leatherman models, the amazing Leatherman side clip, the Leatherman pulse, and one newer model, it's the Leatherman rebar. Let's start with the Leatherman side clip. I carry the Leatherman side clip for more than 10 years uh, in my EDC rotation and you see it's not cleaned, it's a used tool. With 142 gram and an amazing pocket clip, it's a perfect tool for EDC. Let's go to the tools. We have a blade, um, two different types of flathead screwdrivers. I use the um, bigger flathead screwdriver as a pry bar too. We have a small flathead, a Phillips head and a can opener slash bottle opener. As I mentioned before, the tool comes with a pocket clip and a kind of needle nose pliers with wire cutters. For my long term review, four tools are important. It's the blade, the pry bar slash flathead screwdriver, the small screwdriver and the pliers. I really like this blade design, the blade is not locking and the steel has a great quality. It holds the edge not very long but it's very easy to sharpen. It's a utility blade and it's made for different EDC tasks. From all my blades I carry on multi-tools this is my maybe the second place. Um, I will come to the first place later and I prefer this blade over the blade from Victorinox knives. One of my most used tools is definitely the pry bar flathead screwdriver. Um, it's used a lot. It's a pry bar, it's a flathead screwdriver. It's a scraper um, of removing resin from my sauce. Um, it's a, a great and it's a very useful tool for bushcraft, EDC and working around the house. And maybe you see it, I lost a piece of the uh, small flathead screwdriver. Yes, it was a uh, prying action, it was a kind of abuse, but I, I really like the quality of all of these tools. And in my opinion, the quality of the older Leatherman tools was much better compared to the newer ones. The pliers are hard used too and maybe you can see it. I have some chips here in the wire cutters and um, that's not a problem at all. The pliers work excellent and the wire cutters too. Overall, more than 10 years in my pockets and still one of my favorites. I like the tool set, I love the shape, the pocket clip and the lightweight construction. Before we talk about the Leatherman rebar, let's talk about the Leatherman pulse. The Leatherman Pulse is a fairly unknown model from Leatherman with a blade, scissors, a flathead screwdrivers, maybe a little pry bar, um, a two-sided file with a, with a raw side and a fine side, um, a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head and a can opener. Uh, the tool comes also with this lanyard hole. I have carried this tool for 8 years in my EDC rotation and I'm still extremely happy. There are especially two tools I want to talk about. The first one, the scissors. I really like the scissors and in my opinion these scissors are maybe the best Leatherman had ever made. The blade of the Leatherman Pulse is my all-time favorite multi-tool blade. Um, it's a thick blade with a very fine edge and it's perfect for EDC tasks. I prefer this blade a little bit over the blade from the Leatherman side clip and I prefer the blade over the blades from the Swiss Army knives. You can easily get this blade sharper than a razor and it's my blade for fine tasks. An overall great multi-tool design and the quality of the Leatherman pulse is outstanding. It's only available on the second market, uh, like the Leatherman Side Clip 2, but if you have the chance to get one of these tools, it's an excellent tool. All tools are locking tools and um, yes, this is a locking mechanism. 
In my opinion, the Leatherman Pulse stands together with the first gen Leatherman Wave for the amazing and outstanding quality from Leatherman. I carry the Leatherman Pulse in this pouch. This is not the original pouch. I bought the Leatherman Pulse on the second market without the pouch. And I talked about this amazing uh, multi-tool pouch before. I will give you the link. Last but not least, let's talk about the dirty Leatherman rebar. I didn't clean the tool because yes, it's a workhorse and um, that's the biggest advantage of this tool. You get a lot of multi-tool for the money. The Leatherman rebar comes with a file, um, different screwdriver tools. This works also excellent as a pry bar. An all um, a plain edge and serrated edge. A saw, a Phillips head and a combo tool for can opening and bottle opening and with pliers and you can replace the wire cutters. I've used this tool for five years, especially uh, in uh, the bushcraft world and um, for the work around the house. It's not my preferred tool for the urban jungle because I miss the scissors. When I carry this tool uh, in the city, I combine this tool with a Victorinox Classic because of the scissors and the toothpick. Same for the Leatherman side clip. You will get a lot of multi-tool for the money um, and you have some um, advantages, especially the high-end pliers. They are heavy duty, um, they can be abused a lot and they are still functional and I have to replace the wire cutters one time in five years. But I have to mention a negative point in my long-term review, especially compared to the blades from the Leatherman Pulse, the Leatherman Side Clip, the Victorinox Tinker Deluxe. The um, blade is not perfect. I don't like the, the grind. Um, it's not a good carving blade. Um, compared to other blades from multi-tools. When I started using this tool, I had also the problem that the angle of uh, both sides of the blades were different. I have to put uh, some work in it so that I have a great carving blade nowadays. Yes, there is a, a funny point. Um, all three tools are good tools and that is the reason why I can make a long-term review. If they are completely bad tools, um, I wouldn't use these tools for such a long time. Uh, when it comes to newer Leatherman tools, um, I wish that Leatherman um, would improve the quality control and um, it would be fantastic if all tools were accessible from the outside. But yes, um, I'm not in hurry and if I'm in situations where I'm in hurry, and where I have to get the tools very quick, I would choose another tool, for example, the Leatherman Wave, the Leatherman Charge, or my uh, Victorinox Swiss Tool Spirit. The EDC and Multitool community loves new tools and new innovations um, in this cool hobby. But I have to mention, if you're looking for a high quality tool, um, especially the Leatherman Pulse and the Leatherman Side Clip are great options. I don't like the Leatherman PST, the original Leatherman model for EDC use, because there are a lot of sharp edges and um, these tools don't have this problem. Let me know if you have long-term experiences with one of these Leatherman tools. Um, let me know and comment in the comment section below.